and welcome to Terra Special. In the previous video, we have seen how to create shape files, that is point, line, and polygon in QJS. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create features from points. So, or in other words, I'll be showing you how to digitize points in QJS. So that is what we are going to see today. So let us have a look at it. So first of all, we need to add the data which we have created in the previous uh, video. So let me add the point data over here. Here we are going to select vector and we are going to once again to do the browsing option. So yesterday we have created a point called as QGAS, sorry, point QGAS. And please to remember, we should pick up the file type as SHP file and click the option open. Now hit the button add so that the point data will be added. So as you can see over here, this is our point data which we have created yesterday. So you can uh, right click on this layer and go to the option properties. Here you can customize, here you can choose how the point should be. For example, you can see over here, there are a lot of uh, options which are being given, how a point can look. So we can choose any of this uh, symbology which is available. You can see there are a lot of uh, symbologies for point. You can choose anyone among them. So let me go to the colorful option. So here I am going to choose orange color. So after choosing orange color, you can always change the color uh, by clicking over this uh, drop down menu. Here you can take the color which you need. For example, if I need red color, I can just choose the red color. You can choose the intensity by moving this uh, button. So I have chosen the red color, apply and give OK. So, so let us uh, now add the open street map. So here I am using, you can find the option web. So here I am using open layer, open layer plugin. So you can easily install it. Uh, you can just, you have to just go to the option plugins and manage, uh, manage and install plugins where you can find this uh, open layer plugin. So at the top, you can uh, just search open layer plugin. So you can find it. You can directly install it. And you can see that the uh, open layer plugin will be available under the web. You can choose the open layer plugin. Here, uh, there are a lot of maps which are available. In this case, I'm going to use the open street maps and uh, select the open street map. So now you can see the open street map has been opened. So we are going to create point features in QGAS. In other words, we are going to digitize points in QGAS. So here the points re can represent anything on the real world. So I'll be taking a few examples. Uh, let me show you. So here you can see and you can find it this is a college so we are going to uh, digitize we are going to put a point on this college we are just looking the this is a college and we'll be going giving few information in the attribute table so let me show you how to do that uh, before that here we need to have some tools let us see how to add the tools right click on this empty space and under the toolbar section you can find digitizing toolbar so enable it once you have enabled it you can see the tool will be available over here so this is the digitization tool so in order to digitize the uh, point so right click select this point right click on it here you can find the option toggle editing select it so once you have selected it now we are going to choose this add point feature after choosing it you can just see the symbology the cursor symbology has been changed 
So now we are ready to digitize point in QGIS. So we are going to digitize using point features. So here I am going to locate this college. So this is our first point. And in ID, let me give some ID. It must be unique, but it should not be same. And in the name, I will be giving it as college or you can mention the college name. And uh, here I have been uh, asked another field. So last time we have created another field called as distance. So for example, the distance from Chennai Central. So let me, let me assume the distance. So it might be around. For example, I am just saying it might be around. 5 kilometers or 4 kilometers from this Chennai. This is just an example because creating a point alone is not important. We need to provide information for the points so that that will be meaningful. So we have created a point but it's not visible over here. Why? You can just see over here. You should just uh, drag this layer towards the open layer. Open street map. Now you can see it has been available. So like this, we will be creating a few more points. Here you can see another example. Yeah. Here you can find an eye hospital over here. You can just mark it using this point. Yeah, it is saying no active uh, field is available. So let me click on this point so that it will be activated. Now you can see. So we have clicked on this hospital and let me give you an ID for it. And the uh, name will be, let me take it as hospital. And the distance might be around 6 kilometers and click on OK. So likewise you can create points in QGAs. So it can be hospital, houses or uh, you can take bus stand, any sort of example. We are just locating a location using the point. So you can, here you can find another example where you can see. Yeah. Let me take another example here. Here you can see a bus stand like symbol. You can just click on this and create a point. And the ID will be 2 and name will be bus stand. So this is just an example to show you to create how, how to create points. And uh, let me assume the distance. It might be around 9 kilometers from central. So likewise you can create a multiple points or you can locate uh, the lakes. Here I can locate the lakes. Just a location that this is a lake. So let me give an ID of 4 and give the name for it. So lake 1 let us assume some distance it is not accurate but I am just assuming just for example it will be around uh, approximately it will be around 8 kilometers click ok so likewise you can create points you can give the you can mark the junction over here. This kind of junction can be located using the point features. It can be for, uh, you can mark bus terminus, you can mark parking lots. Any location can be marked in the 
using the point feature. So likewise you can create point features using QGAs. If you undo, if you want, uh, if you made any mistakes, so how to undo the undo the mistake. For example, let me take this example. So I am going to mark a railway station, but uh, I made some uh, mistake and I have uh, made it on a wrong uh, location. Let me put the point over here. So I have made it, uh, chosen the wrong uh, location. So let me click OK. So you can see the point is over here, but it should be over here. So I have made a mistake. So how to rectify it? You can see that undo option is available. You can just select the button undo. So automatically it will be removed. Or if you want to redo it, you can select this redo button. So the point will be available. Likewise, you can do. So you can digitize or you can create points in QGAs like this. So this is just an example to show you how to create points in QGAs and how to add information to each individual points that uh, we have seen. So if you have any doubts in this, you can ask me in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. So finally, we see how to save this. You can uh, see the option save layer edits you have to save it otherwise it won't be saved so you just keep it that in mind and now once again click on the point qgas now we have to select the toggling edits so that our editing will be completed so we have successfully created few points on this map that you can see over here so in this, uh, in the next uh, video, we'll be seeing how to digitize a line feature in QGIS, and we'll be having few more example with it. So thanks for watching Terra Special. Please do subscribe and like. Goodbye, everyone.